speaking um, uh, about the 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 US market, um, how how do you think Arab startups should attack it and enter it? So you're saying like a company in Jordan, for example, yeah. or in Dubai trying to attack the US market. Yes. It's, it's a little tough uh, for two reasons. One is you, you have to have operations here. You have to have people here. You have to have feet on the street here um, so that you, at least you understand the culture, the, the, the usability, the market trends, the demographics, who you're going after. Because there are def definitely, you know, if, if you're sitting in Jordan building something, trying to bring it here, it's, I think it's, you know, the chances are it's, it's a little hard. Now, however, finding a partner who, let's say, is in the United States, who established in the United States and says, this is what I want, one, two, three, four. So technically, it's a more of an outsourcing model of saying, okay, build this for me. And then maybe, you know, I take it live and we'll share revenues, et cetera then I see a much lower risk in, in, in that. So, so from a startup perspective, look, you know, the, the rate of startups dying is very, very high. So startups equal risk, and that's why not that many people do startups. Uh, now, you add extra risk to that risk, which is trying to build something from overseas into the U.S., then I think it's risky, unless you've got uh, feet in the street here. Yeah. Uh, so if you have a really cool idea, which you believe is going to work in the U.S., don't waste your time trying to get it up and running in the U.S., uh, you can, of course, you can, you know, things happen and, and miracles happen, right? But it makes more sense to find a good partner, somebody that you could trust, uh, make sure your intellectual property is very well covered. Uh, having you, you, your your operation in the, in the, let's say, overseas, in the Middle East, uh, run the system. So if things don't go your way, you can just shut it down or have some leverage is, is, the, way, is the way to do it. But once you give up your technology and everything is running in the U.S., then suddenly you become obsolete. So my thinking is, uh, fine, keep the technology, use a platform as a service to build it, uh, find the right partner, and go, go at this thing with, with, some, with somebody instead of trying to uh, guess on your own uh, for remotely what works and what doesn't work in the U.S. Plus, you got to remember, there's a lot of competition in the U.S., lots of competition. Everybody wants to go live in the U.S., so make sure you do your homework and, you know, before, before you try to go live here.